Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. Today we are completing a machine called Takeover from TriAcme. This machine is supposed to teach us subdomain enumeration and how we can understand how to find subdomains on a machine. So in this case, we started our machine. Here is our IP address. And we are told that the website is located at this domain name. And we need to make sure that we add this to Etsy host. So the first thing that we need to do is understand what domains are and what subdomains are. Domains are those names that we use to type and go to a website or a resource on the internet. Those domains are usually translated back to an IP address that's actually hosting that resource. It's over, if it's over the internet, that's going to be a public IP address. So domains are just human readable names that we need to access resources over the net or in a browser. In this case, we have a this name here, richavera.thm. Here is how we can enumerate this machine. First, they said to go to Etsy host. So we will do that. And they did specify here that, hey, don't forget to add this IP address in Etsy host for this domain. And the way that we do that is we add this IP address here inside of our Etsy host. And this is what we have for now. So usually we scan, but in this case, we already know what the site is and what we are doing. So there's no need for Nmap. We just copy that and go to a browser and paste it and say, okay, there's a website. So now I need to move on to enumerating subdomains. And for subdomain enumeration, we can use GoBuster. And I have the syntax here. So it's GoBuster. Let's look for vhost or virtual host using a word list here. Uh, from Seclist, uh, we're going for this site, 50 threads, and we want to append the domain. So let's see if we'll be able to see any subdomains. So we found a portal, .futurevera.triagme. Okay, let's go visit that. Oh, we need to add the portal to our Etsy host first. Yes, I should see. And so in here, we go to portal. All right, so once we add it in here, save, okay, it's HTTPS, advanced, yes, let's get there. Okay, so it looks like the same thing. Looks like nothing changed, but it's HTTPS, so let's check the certificate information. This is part of your domain enumeration. You always check... Uh, the certificate because sometimes they will tell you what the domain should be here. So here's futurevera.thm. So I don't see anything there. Okay, so I got stuck a little bit, but coming back here, it says we do a lot of sp space research and write blogs about it. We used to help students in space questions, but we're rebuilding our support. So from this, <laughs> they, they might have a support dot and a blog dot. I, I don't know. That was a CTFE thing. I couldn't find it through enumeration, but I had to read that to come up with this part, like blog. It's a support page. So let's add this to our sub. <laughs> let's add this to our Etsy host. Let's do insert. Okay. So once we add those two here, let's try to ac access them. So I have support here already. And sure enough, we have one. Accept and continue. So this is the one that's under development. So that's why it's interesting. Let's check its information. It might maybe a dev site here. Okay, more information. View certificate. So here's our support. Oh, <laughs> subject. Our, our alternative name here is secret. They help. Okay, so we see another one. Let's add it again to our Etsy host. So just paste it right here. That's a lot of subdomains. <laughs> now let's try to visit it. All right, so going to that secret page, we should, okay, says we have a problem getting there. Let's accept the risk. And we see that one. Okay, so it looks like, um, we see that so we checked the HTTPS. Let's check it just HTTP because this is a 
one in development. Maybe they don't have certificates. <laughs> okay, that was silly. So here is the uh, flag. So we did some subdomain enumeration. We can use nmap and other tools as well during this process. But for now, uh, we were able to find the flag and that was our machine. And then paste. Maybe that's the flag. And there we go. Thank you very much for being here. And I hope you learned something about subdomains today. Otherwise, I hope to see you next time.